I'm Maria, and today we are going to learn how to edit a footer in WordPress. There are a handful of tactics to edit the footer of a self-hosted WordPress site. In this video, we'll talk about editing a footer in WordPress using the theme customizer, widgets, and code. But before we get too far, I wanna let you know that there will be links to more resources in the video's description. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get future notifications for helpful content like this. Now, let's get started. The fastest and most efficient way to edit a WordPress footer is by utilizing the built-in WordPress theme customizer. The theme customizer settings vary depending on your chosen theme, but the customizer itself is always located in the exact location on the WordPress dashboard. To begin the process, go to the dashboard and click on Appearance and then Themes. Then, click the Customize button underneath the currently active theme. Feel free to swap out themes to see how the footers change from theme to theme. As a slightly faster alternative, you can also click on Appearance and then Customize, which brings you directly to the WordPress theme customizer for an active theme. The WordPress theme customizer presents a visual of your website on the right side in several menu items on the left that lead to settings and customization tools. Again, every theme has varying customization options, so your screen may look a little different than what's on our screenshots. A wonderful place to start with your footer customization is with the colors. Our current theme has a colors button, making it easy to identify where we need to go. Select the colors button if that's available in your theme. Choose the select color button under the header and footer background color field. Use the color picker to test all types of colors and see which ones match your brand or look good towards the end of your page. With this particular theme, any color modifications actually adjust the font colors as well, making them look clear regardless of the background color. As you can see, a darker WordPress footer color automatically changes the font color for links, headers, and paragraph text, eliminating the need for you to do that on your own. Now, let's try another theme. In this case, we've swapped out the 2020 theme for the storefront theme. Sure enough, the WordPress customizer for the storefront theme displays buttons not shown in the 2020 theme. Therefore, your theme dictates how much control you have over the footer in the WordPress customizer. Some themes are better than others in this respect. For the storefront theme, we have a footer tab Click on that to see what's available for customizing the footer. Unlike the previous theme, Storefront doesn't automatically change text and link colors when you adjust the background colors. However, you are able to control all of these colors on their own with fields for the background color, heading color, text color, and link color. A quick selection reveals the results in our WordPress footer preview. After this, you should click on the Publish button to see the new footer colors on the front end. But what about the links and text elements presented by default in the footer? Again, the primary method to adjust the footer content is in the WordPress customizer. In the coming sections, we'll explain how to add and remove text and link content from the footer using two methods, as menu items and as widgets. One way to edit the footer content is by adding widgets. WordPress widgets have many functions, along with several locations for them to go, including the sidebar and footer, provided your theme supports that. Back in the WordPress customizer, look for the widgets tab. Peruse the list of areas to replace widgets on your website. You may see options for regions like the sidebar, top menu, and bottom menu. Hopefully, your theme also includes the footer as an area to place widgets. If not, there are other ways to edit your footer. Though, if you'd rather go with widgets, consider switching to a different theme that allows for widgets inside the footer. This theme actually provides four widget locations in the footer, arranged in four columns stacked side by side to make a beautiful format that fits as much content inside the footer as possible. Click on any of the footer widget locations to reveal an area to add a widget. Click on that button to show a slide out view of all available widgets on WordPress and the theme. Once again, you may see a completely different set of widgets considering some themes include their own widgets 
or you may have installed an extension or plugin to add more widgets to your dashboard. Common widgets range from archives to audio in custom HTML to product filters. All you have to do is select the widgets to add to this particular widget area. They'll show up on the left-hand side for you to reorganize and configure their individual settings. After some quick work, we've placed several widgets in three of the footer column modules, including a main menu, a list of recent posts, and a few of the products from our shop. You'll also notice we added a search bar to make navigation a little easier for our users. One important area to note is the widget settings section. Each widget has its own settings on the left, so be sure to walk through those fields and make them look exactly as you want. As you may learn while browsing through the theme settings, not all themes have ways to add menus directly to the footer area using the standard add menu setting. Our theme here, for example, has spots to activate menus as primary, secondary, hand held in mobile menus, but nothing for footers. Essentially, all you have to do is go to one of your widget footer modules and search for the navigational menu widget. Here, you can click on a drop-down field to view all created menus for your website. Feel free to generate a menu specifically for your footer in the menu section of the dashboard and add it as a widget in this section. As an alternative, opt for the main menu or whatever menus you've created. They should all show up in the menu widget dropdown. After that, the menu of your choice shows up in the footer, as long as you've added the navigational menu widget in the right footer area and clicked the publish button. You can even type in a title for that menu if you'd like to explain what the following links contain. Many WordPress widgets offer pre-configured lists of content, like the recent posts widget or the search bar. However, sometimes you may want to edit the WordPress footer to include entirely custom content, such as simple text, images, or a bit of code. To create something new, WordPress provides a widget for each of these. All that's required is to go to the theme customizer and then widgets. Then choose the widget area that reflects where you want the widgets to go in the footer. Click on the Add a Widget button and search for Image. Add the Image widget and customize the title. Click on Add Image, then consider including a link to the image as well. You can edit the image size by clicking on Edit Image. Next up, search for text in the widget library. Add the text widget to your footer and type in anything you want. It also has a title field along with a visual editor, much like you receive when making a blog post or page in WordPress. We've tried inserting images through the text widget since it's technically possible, but many themes don't allow it. Finally, you may find that using a custom HTML widget is the best course of action, especially if you want full control over the footer design or to incorporate a unique design for something like an email signup form. For that, search for HTML in the widget library and choose the custom HTML widget. Paste or type in your custom HTML and keep an eye on the right side preview to ensure it looks the way it's supposed to. You may also have to add some CSS styling to make it appear the way you want. As always, remember to click the publish button at the end. Looking for a quality local development solution? With DevKinsta, in a single click, you can design, develop, and deploy new WordPress projects from your local machine. Plus, it's 100% free to use, even if you aren't a Kinsta customer. Download it today at kinsta.com slash devkinsta. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.